I really don't want to do this today. Uh, but at the same time, if I... Yeah. So what's going on, guys? All right, so I'm at a crossroad predicament. Here is my predicament. In my hurriness of building this computer, I accidentally put the reservoir in backwards. The two, the piece at the bottom here that has the two stop plugs in it or the two openings should be at the top and the one with no openings should be at the bottom. Reason being, how do I fill the loop? Well, unfortunately, I got to lay it on its side and then tilt the ass end of it so that way the top goes that way and then I squirt water in through it and fill it up that way. That's not the way it's meant to be. Also, since I took it out so many times, in and out, in and out so many times, I believe that I accidentally maybe have warped the thread on the inside here because sometimes it will leak and I know exactly where it's coming from. So to try to just stop the problem, I did a very old but useful technique. Use a little hot glue on the spot that's leaking where the glue is, right there is where the spot, that big dab right there, that is where the leak was coming from. But it doesn't leak anymore because of the glue and the system is fully filled. So I'm just trying to bait. Should I drain it and flip it and use thread tape on that fitting down there? Or should I leave it the way it is? You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, I mean, technically it's not broke. It's just something that I was considering doing. So that's kind of where I'm at today. I'm out here in the garage right now. I uh, was working on this thing, this project. I was actually considering this. Hear me out on this one, guys. What if I lay everything down? Lay the radiators down the way they are, so that way the radiators sit. See how they're standing like that? All right, imagine that laying down and this piece in between it. So the radiator would be laying like this, and it will go this way, and then it will go this way. That's what I'm thinking of doing with this project. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea. I do have to do a little bit of organization. Those are all hard tubes over there. And of course, I have all of my fittings and everything. And of course, you can see that the table, it's just messy. It's messy from me doing projects. It's messy from me doing builds and everything, kind of like over here. You know, um, it's a mess. I need to clean up all of this, get it all organized, um, put it back up on the wall. Okay, so what we're going to use is we're going to use a drain tube. That's what this is right here. I built it myself. It's nice. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, I almost dropped it. I know y'all saw that. But anyway, at the end of the drain tube, we're going to put a barb fitting. That way we can put our hose on it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to take this and shove it in right here and hopefully we can drain some of the water out of the computer before it gets too messy. What I probably should do is lean it back a little. The problem is, is that the system's pressurized so as soon as I kick this valve loose man water's going to come out regardless. It, it don't matter. I mean, it ain't gonna go. On, it ain't gonna stop long enough for me to to screw this valve in. I know that darn much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pressure on it until I have the valve completely unscrewed, like I do right now. Don't drop it. All right, here we go. Oh my God! It doesn't fit. It won't fit in here because of the fucking metal son of a bitch, man damn it it's always something it's always something ain't it now what do I do I got my finger in the hole shit and I'm leaking come on ah. 
can't believe I didn't think of that. I'm an idiot. Um, I need a tube. I need a tube. Forgive what I'm wearing. It's cold as shit out in this garage. And this thing is super comfy. All right, I got my tube. Now I need to figure out a way of cutting it. Shit, I did not think this through. Oh boy, oh boy. Crap, what am I gonna do? Um, 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 all right, so. Okay, so I got the tube and I got a saw. I wanna see if I can't cut it. I just need a little bit, not much. I just need a little bit. Oh shit, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Come on, come on. There we go, like that, yep. How about up there, like that. Shoot, come on, hook on to it. Like that, yeah, yeah. See that, now I got it. Now I got it, now I got it. Yeah, I got your ass, I got your. Fuck, this ain't working. Come on. Ah, shit. Ha. Should have just done that from the begin with. Oh no, it's leaking. Come on, get on there. Woo! Fuck, it's leaking though. It's leaking, it's leaking, it's leaking. Oh, come on. Where are the scissors? Where's the bolt cutters? Where's the where's the stuff at, man? Give me the tube. I need the tube. Shit. Ah, come on. Where are that? Where are that? I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I, I still cannot find it. I, I guess I'm going to have to use this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The best way to cut a tube with a saw is to bend it. Put a pinch in it. And then just cut it. That's the best way to cut a tube. Even with like a pocket knife or anything. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, I need a knife. Fuck. All right, pocket knife, well, I'm sorry, credit card knife came to the rescue. I don't need the hose no more. I got what I'm looking for. Okay, here's my POS awesome expensive drain valve tube thingy that has $30 worth of fittings on it. That's now, we got our, what we actually need to go down. All right, let's stick that in the hose. Oh man, there's a lot coming. I got the back panel off. So that way. Alright, All right, we're good. We're good. But it's leaking like a sieve in the back. Alright, so as you can see, there's no water coming out of the tube. And that's because the pressure is still kind of vacuum sealed. Water actually creates a force on top of a surface or in a surface and it actually takes a little bit of force to break through the water tension on something that's why like uh, well like water it's like how water holds a damn boat up it has tension in it so what we got to do is we have to release the pressure in the system so as soon as i drop this valve off and release pressure in the system it should start to drain and it is there it is look it's draining it's filling it up with water now that's only going to get me about halfway through there's still water in the lines and in the entire radiator but all i'm messing with is the reservoir so i really don't need to worry about the water that's in the in the radiator and that's fine because that's less water that I'll have to put in the system anyway. So it's good this the way it is. But now that's like that, we can go ahead and pull it apart and 
disconnected. All right, so I got the reservoir out. And really, all I, I don't even need to take the caps off. All I really need to do is go like that and then reinsert it, and that was it. But since I got that out, um, I'm going to have to clean up that water, and uh, we're going to have to... Well, that's interesting. I thought all along that the leak... Well, no. No, that's right. The leak is coming from the top. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use, what I say, pipe, pipe thread. I'll use some pipe thread and wrap it around that fitting. And hopefully that will seal it up a little bit better for us. Uh, because in the, ultimately I'm trying to get this for the long run. Uh, so I don't have to mess with it no more. Because I plan on doing some serious gaming with it. Successfully got it all put back together. Everything is back the way it needs to be. Uh, thread taped every way of it. I even put a bead of glue around it. You can't see it so it doesn't matter but there it is right there. It's all sealed up nice and tight. I did get it flipped around uh, so now the thing I gotta do is fill it with water but I noticed something right there. Can you see it? See it? Right there where my fingernail is? There's like a hair or a piece of plastic you can see it now right right there oh it's driving me nuts so I found the correct driver for these bolts and I'm gonna zip them out real quick and I'm gonna see if I can't remove that little thing Ugh. the things I do for perfection oh that reminds me make sure to drop a like uh, there it is right there you can see it. It's driving me nuts. Time to remove it. God, I don't know what that is. Oh, whoa. Look at that. It's like a, a string. Is that a hair or something? What is that? It's like a piece of hair or something. Did I get everything? Let's see here. Yeah, okay, good. Nice and clear now. Okay, we can put it back together. Now, it's important that when you are putting these screws back on, especially, well, anything like this, you don't tighten the screw all the way down. You don't tighten it all the way down and then put the next screw in, tighten it all the way down, go to the next screw, tighten it all the way down. You don't do that. What you do is you put all four screws in loose. See, like they're just, they're loose. And then you turn it to just to where it stops and where you need to tighten, just stop. Right where it turns to stop loosely. Put all four of them in and then you want to tighten it down in a pattern. All right, that's the proper way to put something on. Okay, so it's done. The job is done. Now what I need to do is refill it. So I got my fill bottle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here with this, this right here. We're just going to fill this up. And as you can see, as I, let's see here, hold on. As I fill it up with water, that's going to fill up. See it? Whoop. Okay, and then we're gonna come back up here. Fill this up. There we go. And I'll have to turn it on and prime it and do a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna fill it with water as much as I can. Fill the reservoir and then take it inside turn it on prime it do all that good stuff and this is so much more easier than see now i can fill it like this instead of trying to have to tilt it and lift it and do all that other crap the only problem with this now is draining it draining it's going to be a bitch but i can just put a a fitting on there with a tube and then just turn the computer upside down and it'll drain out anyway so 
we're just going to keep filling this hopefully no leaks come but I really won't know until I get pressure and stuff behind it I could use that pressure kit that I got there it is it's full good deal I'll put this plug back in right here and call that a we'll call that a completed completed done finito complete I'm stalling because I can't get the damn thing in <sighs> Jesus, I'll do. But on a side note, I did clean up. Yeah, it's not so messy now. It's a little bit more organized and things are put back on shelves and a little bit more easier to retrieve. So I am done with it. Yay! <sighs> but since I'm done, uh, that means I'm going to go in. It's like two o'clock in the morning and I have to be at work in a couple of hours yay work this is what pays for all of this until the channel can support itself and then I won't have to work anymore yay and my patreon supporters will support me yay so until then make sure to drop me a like if you're new please subscribe I'm always looking for new friends leave a comment down below if you guys got something to say I appreciate y'all, and as always, y'all be cool, and thanks for watching. Bye!